Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Zhao is finally out, and I hope you guys are able to get him. He is super fun to play with, and it's pretty much everything I have dreamed of. He was very clunky to me at first, but after I started to do different attacks with his burst and experimenting, he started to play a lot more fluidly, which is great. I just wanted to show you guys what I've learned through doing my experiments, so here we go. Okay, so in today's video, I'll be going over what attack patterns give Zhao the most damage during his burst. I have counted all the attacks he makes with each combo by looking at it frame by frame. I'll be going over several types of attacks he can do during his burst. His normal attacks, charge attacks, plunge attacks, plunge attack spam, plunge attack animation cancel, and lots more with different variations. I will be using the values at a level 10 attack for this. I will not take into account the burst damage increase as it is applied to all of the attacks and it makes the numbers easier for me to say because I really don't want to be pronouncing a long ass number and re-record it just because I can't speak a number right. I will first go over how much damage the attack combo does and then at the end of the video I'll go through how to do each one. Okay, let's get started. First I'll be doing his normal attacks and his burst without animation cancelling. For Zhao's normal attacks, he can fit in 24 attacks during his burst. The damage he will deal in total is 3,020.68%. Now, if I was to dash to animation cancel his normal attack lag, he will do 27 attacks during his burst. He completes 4 attack strings with 3 into the next combo. This will make Zhao deal 3477.24% damage in total. For his charge attacks, he can do 11 charge attacks and 13 attacks of hit 1. Hit 1 damage strikes twice, dealing 49.14% damage each, for a total of 98.24% damage. In total, he will deal 3,686.97% damage with a charged attack spam. There is no animation cancel here, as you drain your stamina too much if you cancel the animation lag. For his plunge, without any animation cancelling, Zhao will do 11 plunge attacks during his burst. This will deal 4446.20% damage. Problem with just plunging attacking like this is that you waste a lot of time just jumping into the air. I will show you how you can minimize this high jump so you can plunge attack more. If you also hit them with your spear before landing, you will deal plunge damage. In this case, the damage you'll deal is 6,225.56%. This next one requires concentration when performing this plunge attack cancel. Here's how it looks. You will deal 10 plunge attacks and 10 normal attacks, consisting of hit one of the combo. I will call this H1 to keep it simple. In total, you will deal 5,024.8% damage. This is already better than just plunge attacking without animation cancelling. If you do hit the plunge damage, you will deal 6,642.4% instead. I know what you might say, but Steven, you aren't reaching the max height. As long as you jump, you will always be dealing high plunge damage always, so don't worry. I've tested this and the damage is the same. This spam animation cancel is the creme of the crop. This is where your money is if you want to spam plunge attacks. Using this you'll do a whopping 13 plunge attacks, which is insane. You basically fit in an extra 2 compared to just no animation cancelling. The H1 hits are very random when you do this because you are spamming jump and attack. However, on the odd chance, you will get a squeeze of the first part of the H1 attack, so it can proc Jinkyu's burst and Beidou's burst. However, it is somewhat unreliable. When I was spamming this, I got in 4 halves of H1 attacks, basically equating to an equivalent of 2 H1 attacks. With this, the damage you will deal is 5500.02%, or 7603.18% if you land that plunge damage. I have two variations of this next attack. One is more reliable than the other for normal attacks. We have the jump jump attack attack, and the attack jump attack jump animation cancel. 
The plunge attack, jump, jump attack, attack variation is very reliable to get a lot of high plunge attacks in while also normal attacking. With this variation, you will get 11 high plunges. During this time, only the first half of H1 was used, then it was animation cancelled by the jump. So the amount of normal attacks we did was actually 10 in total, but the totaling H1 attack damage we did was 7. In total, the damage this deals is 5,134.16% or 6,913.25% if you land the plunge damage. This damage does fall behind the plunge attack spam. However, it is the most reliable to get your plunge attacks in as well as normal attacks. <laughs> The second variation we have is the plunge attack, attack, jump, attack, jump variation. This will give you a lot more plunge attacks but the amount of normal attacks is very random. For this you will get 12 high plunge attacks. The amount of normal attacks we did was 9 but the total H1 attacks were 5 and a half. The damage you will do is 5390.94% or 7332.06% if you land the plunge. So, in conclusion, don't do a normal attack or charge attack string during Zhao's burst. It does not even come close to using his plunge attacks. It's best to cancel the plunge attack animation. If you use someone like Kea, Zhangling, Ganyu or anyone's burst who deals damage without needing to normal attack, use the plunge attack spam. If you are using a C6 Fischl, Jinkyu or Beidou, you should do the plunge attack animation cancel variant. Either one works fine as they basically do close to the same damage. I would say test out both of them and see what style fits you the best. I personally prefer variation 1 due to the fact it's less tiring on the thumb, but the damage definitely lies in variation 2. Note I am a controller user on the PC, it might be easier for you with mouse and keyboard, I don't know but there we go. The spam plunge attack is very simple to do. All you have to do is go into your burst then spam jump and attack together as fast as you can. The jump jump attack attack variation is also simple. All you have to do is tap jump and then plunge attack. Keep spamming attack until you see the first instance of Zhao's attack wind up. Then you want to jump to cancel the animation of his first attack. As long as the animation goes off, you will prop Jinkyu and Beidou's burst. Once you get used to the timing, you will be able to do this a lot easier. The attack jump attack jump variation is monkey brain. All you have to do is start off with an attack and then alternate between pressing jump and attack button as quick as you can. Alright, here's some tips and tricks guys on Zhao's burst. Uh, I'm not sure guys if you know this already, but um, basically when you use his burst, then you jump, see how high he goes before you can do a plunge attack. If you actually attack first, then you jump, you can control how high he jumps. So you attack first, then you go into a jump like that. Rather than jumping first, then attacking. Just like that, see how more efficient that is? So when you use these bursts and you do a jump, you jump so high and there's a delay until you can do it again. If you attack versus then jump, you can control how high you go. So you can go instantly into a plunge like that. Don't let the attack go through first. You see how there's two portions of his attack like that. You could practice this. Attack and jump like this. If you want to get practice at doing it. So the first hit of his first attack will go through. This will still land. Because it, it's two parts. It's two parts, guys. It's like this. There's two parts to it. You've got the first hit and the second hit. This is the first hit and that's the second hit. So you can practice doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this helps you with Zhao and knowing what is the best animation cancel is best for you and your team.